I'm going to talk about the real miracle of Quran. The real miracle of Quran is transformation. Change, 180 degree change in the true followers of Quran. If we see how Prophet Muhammad in just 23 years short time transformed the whole entire nation. This is the most difficult thing for a human being to change his belief, to change his perspective, to change his mindset, to change his approach, to change his tahzeeb, his morals, his values, his culture. In 23 years time, Prophet the nation which had no importance on the map of the world, Prophet made them the leader of the world. The nation who used to fight on little things for hundreds of years. Nation who was burying their young girls alive. Nation who was famous for bad practices. Nation who had no culture. Naked tawaf of Kaaba. No value of women. No respect for each other. No brotherhood. Spiritually and morally. They were bankrupt. This book changes the life 180 degree. We see the revered Muslims. Wallahi how seriously how they follow this book. You can see the difference of day and night in their life. This is the miracle of book. So my brothers and my sisters. If we see the life of Sahaba, you know, Hazrat Umar used to say that my father used to tell me that Umar, you cannot even take care of these animals. What else you will do in life? Same Umar Ta'ala Anho became the best leader that humanity has ever witnessed. Look what change Prophet brought in the life of these Sahaba. When Prophet after Banu Nadir incident happened and Male Ghanimat was about to be distributed, Prophet called Ansar leadership and Saad bin Muaz was there and Saad bin Ubada was there. Razia Both tribe leaders, Aus and Khizraj, were there. And Prophet presented in front of them two suggestions. He said one option is that all this male ghanimat that we have received, we can distribute this equally among muhajireen and ansar. And the other option is because of the muakhat, the system of muakhat, the brotherhood Prophet ﷺ has created among between muhajireen and ansar after the migration to Medina, ansar were sharing their houses and their businesses with muhajireen. The second suggestion Prophet presented that we can give all this wealth to Muhajireen so they can be independent so you don't have to take care of them anymore. Look at the answer of Sa'ad bin Mu'al and Sa'ad bin Ubada. They said, Ya Rasulullah, there is a third option. And the third option is that you can give all this wealth to Muhajireen and they can still continue to be partners with us in our houses and in our businesses. After listening to this answer, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi smiled and you can see the freshness on his face. His face got bright because of the joy he was feeling after the answer of the leadership of Ansar. My brother, this is the leadership 
Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. These are Sahaba. This is the team that he has developed. They are willing to sacrifice their own needs for their brothers. This is called transformation. The whole mindset of Sahaba was changed. Their priority was not this life, the life of hereafter. La Aisha illa Aisha al Akhira. They were looking forward to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, their goal was how they can be successful in the life hereafter. People who used to fight with each other, that incident of Abu Zar Ghaffari Razila Ta'ala, know when they were having some arguments and discussion, and Hazrat Bilal suggested something, and abruptly Abu Zar Ghaffari said, So now you, son of black woman, are going to correct me? These words were harsh words. Hazrat Bilal says to Abu Zar Ghaffari that I'm going to go and complain to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when Prophet heard this complaint, he got very upset. And when he saw Abu Zar Ghaffari coming towards him, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him that Jahiliya is still there in your heart. And Abu Zar Ghaffari comes out of Masjid Nabi looking for Bilal Ta'ala Ano and he finds him in a marketplace. He puts his face on the ground and asks Bilal Ta'ala Ano to put his feet on the cheek from where those words have come. Look at the Abu Zarqafari, how quickly he went back for repentance to ask for forgiveness from his brother. And look at the response of Bilal Razdiya Ta'ala. No, it's not that, okay, I will think about it. Oh, you, you have done this. So, no. Immediately, Hazrat Bilal was also ready to forgive his brother. When Abu Zar is asking him to put his feet on his cheek, Bilal Razdiya Ta'ala response is, to Abu Zar Ghaffari that how can I put my feet on a cheek from where the kalma of La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah was uttered. I cannot. Humanity has not seen the society Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu has developed in this such a short period of time. My brothers and my sisters. So the real miracle of this book Quran is transformation, transformation of the life, transformation of perspective, change in approach, change in mindset, change in morals and values, change in the perspective, change in every dimension of life of human beings. My brother, this is the most important miracle of Quran really today. If Muslims, they really follow the teachings of Quran, if they listen to what Quran is asking them, if they follow and look at the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu this book wants to change our life. This book expect that our value system, our morals, our approach, everything should be changed according to to the teachings of this book, my brothers and my sisters. Allah.